Here comes the rain. Do, 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 do. What up, everyone? Welcome back to Blade Bias. I have something extraordinarily exciting to show you today. I've always been the Arctic guy, you know? I love the Arctic. I own two of them, technically two and a half of them, because Glider sent me the new scales. I've always loved it, even with my switch from liking handle bias to liking more neutral things. Oh, that's an umbrella tumbling through the parking lot. That sucks. Uh, hopefully it doesn't dent any cars. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, so even though I like handle, or I don't like handle bias as much anymore, that's so unfortunate. The Arctic has remained a consistent ballast song in my collection that I enjoy because I learned on it, and it feels like home to me. So when Ted, the owner of a highly custom Arctic, gave me the opportunity to try it, I couldn't pass it up. Say hello to the Live Bladed Arctic. This is a custom reblade. I'm sorry, I don't know who did it. I will ask Ted who did it and leave uh, their name in the description. So if you're interested in who did it, I will certainly do that in the description. Um, but this is a live reblade of the Arctic, custom reblade, and it's also polished by Ty. So it's custom in two ways. But then it's also custom in three ways because it has zippy spacers in it, which is super interesting. I'm assuming the zippy spacers um, balance out the blade a little better because the blade might be super, super heavy on this thing. Um, but yeah, the zip, this is my first, exp sorry, Ted. This is my first experience with zippy spacers. So yeah, they're pretty cool. I don't really think they're needed on the Arctic. The Arctic already has enough handle bias in my book, but you know, who knows? It is, uh, it's always good to have some, some options. Now this thing is super cool. First of all, the polish provides a little more grip than I think that you get on something like a normal Arctic. The polish I find myself gripping into a little bit better than the normal Arctic. I like the normal Arctic's finish a little bit more. It just feels a bit more polished. But mm, actually flipping it, I don't know if it feels that much grippier, but it is still pretty grippy. So Ty, good job on this polish. But this, the reblade's actually balanced really well. It's a bit more neutral than the typical Arctic is. It's got a bit more blade weight to it, which I'm sure you can imagine because now the blade is completely filled in rather than having holes in it. It's all solid steel. But it actually, it, it's still got a bit of a handle bias to it. It's not like completely neutral, but it still feels pretty good. I am actually super super into how this flips I'm really into how this flips actually zippy spacers don't consider this like a review of the zippy spacers because I don't know if these even are like these could be beta zippy spacers for the arctic I know Ted is sponsored by zippy so I'm not sure if he has like a bunch of early products that he has on his stuff they stick out a little bit I don't know if they're the most comfortable for flipping but if they help balance out this blade a little bit better, then I guess I understand their inclusion. And there's certainly nothing wrong with good old customization on ballast songs. But yeah, this flips. This flips really well. It's got the comfort of the Arctic with a little bit more of a handle by or a little bit more of a of a neutral balance. Something similar to maybe like a squid trainer. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's a bit crazy to say that, considering I haven't tried a squid trainer in a while. Um, holy cow. Okay, so that's where the discomfort is coming from. Don't consider this like a review. This is certainly not a review. This is just me checking out a really cool, highly custom Arctic. Because, you know, I'm the Arctic guy. i got to check out all the, all the custom stuff people do with their Arctics. Which is ironic, because I just said I don't have any of the zippy spacers. Anyway... <laughs> The blade, the blade is a little rough. The chamfer on the spine is nice. The chaplains feel good. But this tang area is uh, a bit sharp. Especially when it rubs up against your hands and like rollovers and everything. But, oh well. You live and you learn, you know? Oh, the wind is whipping. Well, this is, gonna be, uh, this is maybe a loss of power situation. Like the last time this happened. Okay, we'll see. Anyway, so if my lights turn off, you guys know what happened. Yeah, this is cool. This is cool. I'm going to go to the beanbag of safety to try and flip it a little better. 
uh, do a bit more risky things. Although I'm not going to be able to see the silver too well against the white, against the white of the the bean bag or the the marble blanket that I have. Also, I have to remember this is a live blade. I'm flipping this thing like it's a trainer. I have the confidence like it's a trainer, but no, this thing could probably uh, this thing could probably cut. Not the sharpest, but it is sharp. So I guess I will, I'll be pretty careful. But being on Arctic Handles, this has the huge advantage of me being ridiculously comfortable with them already. So it gives me the kind of confidence boost that I need to do some of the crazier stuff that I am capable of. I'm trying to learn the, the ice pick catch out of a Z choker, or out of just a normal choker. There we go. Yeah, I like this thing is really, really cool. Okay. I think Ted is unfortunately selling this thing. He's selling off a bit of his collection. And unfortunately, I was not able to put a bid in for it. I was interested because, you know, having something this cool and this custom is on an arctic is a no-brainer for someone like me but unfortunately the funds just don't line up i uh i still don't have ballast lung money the ballast lung money comes this summer hopefully but we'll see so yeah this is the the live blade arctic and i really like it flips really well it's balanced like it feels extraordinarily similar to an arctic obviously it does because it has the same handles but i'm talking about the balance specifically but it's just a little bit more neutral. I'm actually a big fan of it. It fans better. It fans better and it flows just a little bit better. Cause yeah, it's got a it's just got a bit more weight towards the blade. I like it a lot actually. It's so similar to the Arctic, yet different enough that makes me like kind of be like, oh, I kind of like this better than the Arctic, even though it still feels very similar. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just rambling at this point. So yeah, this hmm, doesn't have the best sound in the world. And it's probably not tuned the best in the world. But hey, that's what you get when you put a slab of metal that's not supposed to be there. So yeah, I'm not really sure what else I can say about it. This is not something that I'm going to do. I spent a week with because I spent a week with is more about, hey, if someone's looking to buy something. They want to see someone's experience. It's not a review, essentially, but it tells people my experience over the course of a week. So it can be useful in purchasing decisions if someone chooses to do that. So I'm not going to do spend. I spent a week with this because there's nothing that you guys can gain from that other than whether I like it or not. And I can already tell you right now that I like it. So yeah, this is super cool. Thank you again, Ted, for sending this out to me. And I hope the new, if the new owner is watching this video, um, I hope you enjoy your knife. This thing's pretty cool. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.